Hi everyone, this week the nations launched the world's largest concentrated solar power plant. Dubai trams are expected to arrive by the end of the year. The city will celebrate Earth Hour on Saturday. And stay tuned to find out why one Abaya has made it to the world's most expensive piece of clothing list. This is The Roundabout with me, Sandra. First up, earlier this week, President Sheikh Khalifa launched the 2.2 billion dirham Shams 1 solar power plant, which is the largest working plant in the world using concentrated solar power. With a capacity of 100 megawatts, Shams 1 covers 2.5 square kilometers in Medina Zayed in the western region. Just to put that figure into perspective, 100 megawatts is enough to power 20,000 homes. Here's how the plant works. Shams 1 relies on a solar field large enough to fit 285 football fields to harness the power of the sun. Giant curved mirrors concentrate solar light onto a small glass tube collecting heat. This is then used to power an electric turbine and produce power. The plant relies on a small amount of natural gas to boost its efficiency during the day. This also allows it to generate electricity at night. With the completion of the Shams 1, the UAE now has about 68% of the total solar power capacity in the Arabian Gulf and nearly 10% of the world's installed capacity of concentrated solar power. And speaking of energy conservation, the UAE will be celebrating Earth Hour on Saturday, March 23rd from 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. Those participating will need to turn out the lights and unplug non-essential appliances. About 1 million dirhams worth of electricity was saved in Dubai by dimming the lights for Earth Hour last year. And there are hopes the savings could be 20% higher this year. Across Dubai, key landmarks such as the Burj Khalifa and the Burj Al Arab will cut lights to mark the hour. And Imar Properties will shut off exterior lights at all its malls. An Earth Hour walk will be held at the Burj Plaza in downtown Dubai, where thousands are expected to mark the event with candles. Over 140 countries, including 7,000 cities and towns around the world, participate in the event each year, which began in Australia in 2007. For more information, visit uae.panda.org forward slash Earth Hour. In other news, the first Al Sufu tram car will arrive in Dubai on December 11th of this year. RTA authorities announced that the production of the trams was 30% complete at the factory in France. Each tram is 44 meters long and will accommodate about 300 passengers. Additionally, just like the Dubai Metro, the trams will have a first-class gold compartment, a cabin designated for children and ladies, and a silver-class car. The Al Sufu tramway extends 14.6 kilometers alongside Al Sufu Road, and the network will compromise 17 passenger stations, 11 of which are covered under Phase 1. The first phase of the tram project is scheduled for completion in the last quarter of 2014. The Dubai tram tracks extend along Al Sufu Road, connect to the Palm Jumeirah, and rise into an elevated section through Dubai Marina. Once completed, it will link to three Dubai metro stations via a footbridge. And finally, how much would you pay for a single piece of clothing? Well, one abaya costs a whopping 65.1 million dirhams and was revealed at the Raffles Hotel this week as the world's most expensive piece of clothing. Designed by Debbie Wingham, the abaya consists of a diamond so rare that most jewelers will never come across one. The red diamond is such that just one in every 100 million diamonds shine a natural red color. The abaya is also decked with black diamonds and white diamonds and features over 200,000 painstakingly hand-stitched threads in 14 karat white gold and is embellished with an intricate flower pattern. Wingham's inspiration for the abaya came from witnessing women wear it in Dubai and she found it to be very chic with its graceful silhouette, fluidity and its movement. The Emirate-inspired red diamond abaya will be on display at the Raffles Hotel until March 25th. However, it will not be sold. Well, that's all the news we have for you this week. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and follow us on Twitter on The Roundabout 2 to get all these stories and more. Looks like it's going to be a dusty next few days, so do stay clear on the roads. Here's your weather for the week. Have a great weekend.